We haven't seen this one before, wow, have what we? Is this? Whoa! It's almost like it teleported. Yes. Hey guys, welcome back to the Rainbow Who is with Panos and Matt. This is episode 13 of My Hero Academia season 7. Yes. Super excited to dive in. Midori has finally arrived. Yes. Bakugo is being revived. Edshot is sacrificing himself. Yes. And Lemillion showed his butt behind. Exactly. Shigaraki, <laughs> not very demure. No. Not very mindful. No. <laughs> so true. Let's so, see what happens next. Let's go. Let's go. Toga Himiko wa Ito de Aru Oktojimani Misoshi. They're like, let's do another recap. Oh, it's like, no, babe, but we like know. maybe they're focusing on her now. I hope not. We need to see Midoriya. They will have to show us some of the other battles as well. Um, you know, Gigantomaki has still not done anything, and Tabi obviously is reborn, so mm -hmm. I'm saying reborn, he's, you know. And then Kurogiri, I mean. Ah. Uh, And then this situation. <laughs> the Americans! Grappled. Oh, yeah. oh wow, he looks like a golem. Huh? <laughs> Showing us the peach again. <laughs> Not very I love how I love how confused she gets. I is. love it. What does it tell us? He likes a good bum. That's a beautiful picture. Yeah. Finally arrived. Smash. That is the thumbnail. <laughs> ah. The fingers are breaking. Oh! Yes. He's gonna lose it. The moment we have been waiting for now. He obviously doesn't know that they're fixing his heart right now, but... Oh no. He's probably blaming himself. He, he will blame there, himself. You know? He will blame himself for sure. We know how he is. He's gonna also go into like a berserk mode or something. Uh, oh wow. He looks possessed. <laughs> I hope he's not gonna make mistakes. Well, he also has improved, you know, like... <gasps> Look, he looks like he's losing control! Daijoube Deku! This is... Oh, shut up, Shigaraki. Shigaraki. <sighs> Let's go, this is huge. The 
Across the ages. Are we going to time travel? Huh. Oh, see. Mm, exactly. He broke through. Yeah, because the child, the inner child came out. Yes. That's his mother, right? Mm, yes. Ah! What? So... Oh, it's falling! Uh -oh. They better start rebuilding. What is that? It's a combo with Fajin and Sunstone. Very nice. Five minutes? What? We haven't seen this one before, wow, have we? This? Whoa! It's almost like it teleported. Yes! Third key. Wow. What? Wow. That's how fast he's punching. Yes. Is this what it means? The chain of events which, um, through time or something? Like he's so fast that he's hitting him faster than time or something. Wow, this is huge. Incredible. Wow. Is it 120%? Wow. Detroit smash through time. They're like, we're gonna give you a little budget this episode. This was huge. Second, Second one. Oh, he looks so innocent, no? Like he's just an older brother <laughs> that wants he wants to hang out. Oh. Interesting. What? Hmm. Well, like, it kind of uh, evolved, you know? Over the time, I guess. Wow, they've done a very good job visualizing this. Incredible. He's gonna break through the. He is floor, gonna break like... through, yeah. Incredible. Incredible. And considering he was he was the second one for all, so mm. it went through multiple generations, you know? Yes. I have goosebumps. This is huge. Oh, cell by cell. Yes. Yes, I mean it's huge. Wow. He's turning into a rocket. Another one. Quintuple, <laughs> babe! But wait for it, Shigaraki's gonna come with a plan. But he still has time to think about these things, you know? Oh, he's gonna fight back. Wow. Oh, he uses the smoke screen. Oh, black whip. Wow. wow. 
this boat. This is huge! Wow! Wow, they've done an I It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. That's what it meant through ages, not through generations. Yeah, because it's guess, literally every yes. single you know, power plays such an important role at this point. This is huge. Oh, it's gonna be punch versus punch. Oh, he's like, let me get out of here. <laughs> Edshot! Oh, genius. You need to protect him. Well, this is gonna, gonna destroy, destroy the, the thing. Coffin. Yep. He needs to pulverize him, you know? It's like every single cell needs to be destroyed. But how? Wow. Oh, do you think that was enough, though? What did he say? Hmm. This is it. So he might have to kill him at the end, you know, not just like, oh, let's let's save exactly. him. But imagine now that his this kid comes out, Shigaraki, as a kid. See, he says, I want to save that kid. Oh. Mutation. Uh, It's actually crazy if you think about what he's doing to Shigaraki's body, you know? I mean, I don't think Shigaraki wanted this. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if he tries to free Giganto Machia. I knew it's coming. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, all for one, you know, the reborn daddy mm -hmm. is gonna probably move to try and, and waken up Giganto Machia mm -hmm. because Giganto Machia could bring down the coffin, no? Yeah, sure. What do you think? Well, I'm glad that we still focused on this fight, yes. this episode. Mm -hmm. I was thinking, oh, Midoriya arrives and now suddenly they're gonna show us... Something else. Some other battles, you know? But it was cool to see yeah. him arriving and just going all out. Mm -hmm. We needed it. Yeah, I agree. It was, uh, it, I agree with you, it was very important. Of course he saw Bakugo. Um, he lost it for a he moment. He lost it. It was so sad. I, I actually teared up. I actually teared up. But then Lemillion grounds him and brings him back, mm. right? Uh, and, and that was just huge. It's to think what an important support character he is, you know, Lemillion. Um, and a true cheerleader, because we've seen it also. Obviously, he does it, you know, obviously it's a trio. But within that trio, he is that glue, right? Mm -hmm. That just keeps bringing them back and, and, and keeps cheering them on. So yeah. absolutely amazing. But then Midori goes all out, like you said. Um, and it was a beautiful episode. They've done a beautiful job visualizing how all of the powers are coming together. And we really see how Midori has grown to become this incredible hero, this incredible yeah. fighter, and utilizing those unique skills. Yeah, and we saw obviously some new skills as well, right? So we didn't see this gear shift before. Yeah, it was the that first was time we saw it in action, and also we saw how versatile it is. But then it was interesting to see all for one talk about it and say, "Oh, I've seen this before." Mm. But then when he saw it back when he uh, apprehended him or killed him, it, it it was a different skill. I so I didn't know that that was the second all for one that that uh, yeah. had that skill. That was interesting. So yeah, it was something about influencing the speed of smaller objects. Of smaller of objects, but yeah. like it used to be like the small objects. But obviously now, over he's time, it, to it just yeah, he's evolved one. and became stronger. Huge. You know, yeah, it's huge, huge, huge because he's becoming that projectile yeah. object. And each obviously each of the different quirks have evolved oh. with each. It, um, yeah, reiteration. Yeah. Um, also, it's very, very poetic the way they're 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 calling the episodes, you know, because clearly here, you know, you 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 you're seeing the different generations mm -hmm. meddling and coming together in in, in Midoriya and Deku, 
uh, it will be interesting to see what's going to happen to Shigaraki, right? Because clearly the story is verging on that inner child. Yeah. Right? Even That's that well, moment when the mother showed yeah. and then she looked at the fingers and one of the finger heads, one of the thing, finger heads? One of the fingers is the head of the son. Yes. Like, like it's the head of Shigaraki. And, mm. and he obviously looked up. So clearly you see he is there and he's just, it's, he's just been, like he's caged or something. He's like, yeah. he's a slave to this body or whatever, you know? But then it's a very good question we saw with a recap, you know, if it means, if killing him, if saving him means killing him, will you be able to kill him? And then he says, oh, I want to save the kid. Yeah, but also the question of like, if this inner child suddenly comes out, right, and mm -hmm. says, save me, help me, yeah. save me. Like, what do you do? Do you try to save him or is it, is he like so irredeemable mm. because of all the things he's done, mm -hmm. right? Because he is evil, right? He has killed so many people. He's done evil things. Yeah, I know what you mean. Um, does he deserve this chance of being saved? I want to say yes, because we, we've seen quite a lot of flashbacks and we know that he had an abusive father. We also know the father was against the quirk. He was, you know, not the best parent. And unfortunately, Shigaraki had this power that when he was touching things, they were turning into stone, they were turning into dust. Mm. So everybody was just scared of him. And they were like, you're a monster, you're a monster. So inevitably, he just ended up on that path. You know, I want to say he would have had a much better childhood if the parents would have genuinely take, taken care of him. Yeah, and no, obviously also the mom, who kind of... The real mom, you mean? Yeah. All for one. Yeah. That left him at the time. She, you know, she left him because she, she him thought, oh, it would be, it would be better, better for him. him. Yeah. But actually... No. It just made it worse. You it's know? interesting that she, she left him behind or she gave him up for adoption because she thought, oh, he's going to have a better life without me. Turns out he is the ultimate villain. Yeah. Right. Bitch. It's her mistake. It's her fault. Anyway, uh, it's a good question. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Listen, we know Deku. He's not going to kill him. He's, he's going to try and save him. Right. There will be an attempt of saving him yeah, to some extent. I guess. I mean, we know Deku. Deku is Deku. Right. Um, I I, I want to see Edshot succeed. Bakugo needs to come back to life. We'll see. Yeah, but as we said, like last episode as well, like even as, if he's being resurrected, like he's not going to be able to fight. No, no, no. He needs to recover. Yeah. He needs to recover. And uh, they also showed Gigantomachia this episode again. So I feel like we're coming closer and closer to, will, to the reawakening. Awaken at yeah. some point, for sure. We come closer and closer to the reawakening of Gigantomachia because it has to happen. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they are like, oh, the, episode, the, the season is over, but we haven't finished the fighting. We'll continue the next season. Mm. See you next year. Well, we saw, obviously, in the preview, like next episode, we're going to focus on a different location, yes. on a different battle. Mm -hmm. And then maybe after that, we'll, they will continue with that, showing us different battles yes. before we then come back to Deco. Deco. Yeah, 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 good point. Good. This was episode 13. Thank you guys for being back with us. Exciting week. We're starting free run. We're also continuing with Hunter x Hunter. And there is also one more show coming, but we're going to announce it later. For now, thanks. And we'll see you for the next one. Take care. Bye.